hello in this video i'll talk about stacks so let us understand what stack is for di for diagrammatic representation let us say this is a stack so anything you put inside let's assume you have put something called x and it's inside so next time when you put something you will place it on top of this so now let's say this is y and then you add one more stuff inside and this you call it as z so what you can see is when you want to remove something you cannot remove x first in order to remove x or y you need to remove z that means you have to remove what is on top of the stack this is the stuff which is on top of the stack so this is the thing which we need to remove first so let's say we remove z so now z is gone now only so z is gone so now only you are able to remove y and after removing y only you can remove x so stack is first in first in and last out so let me explain this let's say we have x y and z so now you can see x is the one which was put inside first then comes y then comes z so you can see x was put in first but x is the one which is going to come out last so this is why stack is first in first out let me now explain it with few notebooks let's say we have few notebooks let's say i'm stacking it up so let's say this is notebook 1 now i'm going to place one more notebook on top of this now this is notebook 2 now i have one more notebook this is notebook 3 and this is the last one this is notebook 4 so now in order to take out notebook 1 or 2 or 3 the first thing which we are able to remove is notebook number 4 okay this is the this is the rule which the stack follows so whenever you want to remove something from the stack whatever is present in the top of the stack is the one that is coming out so only after taking out notebook 4 you are able to access notebook 3 then after removing notebook 3 only you are able to access notebook 2 then only comes notebook first so again you can see here first in first out the so notebook 1 was the one which came in first and it is the one which is going out last i hope you are clear with this now talk about indexes you see the first element which went inside the stack will have the index number 1 and on top of that it will be index number 1 and 2 and so on till the n element present in the stack now let's see how we can create a stack in java so we'll create a stack in java and we will see various methods that are available with stack so we create stack by using the keyword called stack so s is capital and then we have to specify the type of things which we are going to put inside the stack so we know that we declare a variable int x equal to 5 which means that x is of type integer so you can only put integer inside x so this is how we declare a variable so for stack what we do is we put angle brackets and inside these angle brackets you are supposed to tell data type this stack is going to hold let's say you want to put integer values inside this stack you will type in integer and not int okay so let's say we are having notebooks so i am going to put string values so this is the data type now we need to name our stack so let me call this stack s equal to we have to use the keyword new stack again we need the angle brackets we have to mention the data type and we have to finish it off with brackets and semicolon so this is the syntax to create stack in java so now we have a stack we have created a stack whose name is s and it is empty since we did not add anything inside the stack so now let's see how we can put something inside the stack so you in order to put something inside the stack we will use a method called add so this is the method we are going to use so we will 
what is the name of the stack it is s dot add and we need to add something right so in the stack you are able to put string values so i'm going to put a string let me put the first string notebook one so once this statement gets executed there will be a string stored inside the stack and the value which it will hold is nb1 notebook1 and the index will be 0 now let's add some more stuff let's say add notebook2 and add notebook3 so we are going to add notebook 2 and notebook 3 and the index will be 0 1 and 2 so this is how we add values inside a stack now let's see how we can remove a value from this stack so as i mentioned when we try to remove something from the stack the one which went in the last that is the topmost element is the one which is going to come out so the method we have is we have the method pop to remove the element from the stack and when we use the pop method what it is going to do is it is going to take the topmost value and it is going to give you so this element won't be present over here so what you can do is you can instead of doing this you can do you can print this so instead of doing this I'm going to print it so nb3 will be popped from the stack and it will be printed so the output of this line will be nb3 so pop is going to pop out the topmost element of a stack so now this is not present now let's say now let's say you just want to see the topmost element and not remove it from the stack so pop is going to remove it out but what if i just want to see what is present on top of the stack so for that we have a method called peak peak is going to peak inside the stack and give us the topmost elements so let me print that also since we have used pop over here this nb3 is gone and when we use peak method so this method will peak inside the stack and it will see that nb2 is present so it will give you a, an output of a string which is nb2 so let me talk about one more function in stack it is called contains so what contains will do is it will go and see if if something is present in the stack and it will give you a output of true or false so let's say let's check if nb3 is present inside the stack so this is going to give me a value false why because we have removed nb3 from a stack when we use this command so contains will help us search something inside the stack if i say nb1 this is going to give me true finally let me talk about another method let's say we want to pick any value randomly from the stack let's say we have elements inside a stack and we want to randomly pick one element and we can do that by using index remember i told you you can take only the topmost element that is when you want to remove an element from a stack but you can go directly to an index and view what is present in a index location to do that we have a function called get so you will be using get function and you will specify the index so this will give you the value present in that index location if you say s of get 2 it will give you the value nb3 or if you say s of get of 0 it will give you nb1 so note that we are not going to remove this element from the stack we are just going to view what is present in the index location deletion of element is only possible at the top of the stack so how to use this we are just going to use system.print.out and you say s of get and you specify an index 
so this will give us the value from the stack and this will print it so let me give you a quick recap in this video we learned how to declare a stack in java then we learned about a function called add which we are going to use to add any element or value inside the stack then we saw a function called pop this function is used to remove the topmost element of the stack because stack follows first in last out principle then we saw a function which is called peak so peak is used to see the topmost element which is present inside the stack it will just view it this is going to delete it then we saw a function called contains contains is going to search the stack and give you the value which you are searching for so it will give you true or false then we saw a function get function get and you mention a index and this is going to give the value present at that index so that's all for this video if you learn something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing my channel thank you